Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to explore about the result set metadata in JTBC. So let's go through the slide first. Uh, result set metadata is an interface in java.sql package of JTBC API which is used to get the metadata about the result set object. Whenever you query the database using select st statement or select query, the result will be stored in the result set object. Every result set object is associated with one result set metadata object. This object will have all the metadata about the result set object like a schema name, table name, number of columns, uh, column name, uh, data type of the column, etc. Now, how to get the result set metadata object? Uh, we have a get metadata uh, method in result set interface uh, which returns the result set metadata object associated with a result set object uh, below is the syntax to get the result set metadata object uh, if you have a reference of result set then you can call uh, get metadata method on it method on it and you will get the result set metadata object uh, there are some important methods of result set metadata like get column counts which returns you the number of columns uh, in the result set uh, second method i would like to talk get column name you will have to pass the column index and this will return the column name uh, again get column type name and you will have to pass the column index again this returns the database specific data type of the column Again, we have a get column, a get table name. If you pass the column index, then this will return, this will return you the columns table name. Now, get a schema name, and you will have to pass the column name. This will returns uh, the name of the schema of the columns table, right? So this was very quick video on uh, result set metadata. So this was just the theory part. Uh, let's go through the, some hands on. So here, I have a employee table ddl query uh, and there is some insert insert query as well so just i'm going, going to create employee table and i will populate with the four result set the four four records so i'm going to on the mysql workbench and here i have selected this jdbc temp db and here i'm going to paste it and i will select this entire db escape and let's run it and this table if i refresh then this table is created with four records so i'm going to use this table as a uh, demo in this video tutorial right i will use this table uh, in this demo now table and uh, table is created with some records now i have a first of all i would like to talk about the db util class this is the class which is responsible to return save the uh, connection object so i have a static method so i can call by this class name right so when you call get connection method by using this class then first of all a static block will be executed and here is in a static block just i'm creating the connection by using get connection method of driver manager and same is going to return to the client right and here some of the coding i have written already like i have created a sql script a sql query like select a star from employee table it's a plain sql query now i have used try with resources and here i have in a slide some resources like connection prepare statement as well as result set so these all interfaces like connection prepare statement and result set implement uh, extends auto closable interface so if you use uh, with try with resources then this this uh, resources will be automatically closed by the jvm at the uh, at the at the end of the execution so you don't need to close these resources in the finally block that's the use of uh try with resources now i have a result set what we have discussed how to get the result set metadata we have a in result set we have a get metadata method which returns us the result set metadata object right now let's go through the some api which is available on the like uh, i want to calculate the total number of columns uh, present in this select query right in result set now column count we can get like this and here i would like to print
total number of columns and this results it and we'll print column sorry column count sorry okay now I'm going to use for loop and here I'll start from one and till I want to iterate till column size so let's specify column size now we have a result set method object and here result set method object is as a method is called get Uh, get column name and here I am passing the index of the column this will return us the column name and next method I am going to call uh, get column type name here also I am passing the column index now this will return the SQL data type of this column and just I'm going to print column name this is a type of and pretty straightforward now let's run this program and see what output we are getting see total number of columns saying that six we have written the SQL query select a star from employee so this is going to select all columns from the database so we have a how many columns one two three four five and six columns so this is going to return you the number of columns six now employee ID is the type of int employee name is the type of worker email is the type of worker salary is type of double date of joining is type of date time that is basically time is time and bonus is the time of decimal now so we have used we have made uh, we have made use of the few methods but if you go to the result set metadata and if you press ctrl o then you can see there are around 18 methods are available in this uh, interface uh, there are many more methods like here you can check is auto increment and you can pass the column index if that column is auto incremented uh, value like in our case we have a column is called uh, employee id say auto incremented so for this this will return you the true if uh, if uh, column is a auto incremented then that is going to return you true as this will return you the false there are many method each case sensitive if you pass the column index then this will tell you whether indicates whether the column is case sensitive or not right like each searchable and if you pass the column index then this will uh, tell you whether designated column can be used in the where clause or not so now each currency we have if you pass column index then this is this this will tell you whether the designated column is a cash value or not so this represents the some currency value or not now if you want to check whether any column uh, allows a level value or not so you can check by is in a, in a level so every we have most most other most of the api especially you pass the column index so for first column index is one for second column index is two and so on now there are each signed and you pass the column index and this will give you either true or false based on the whether uh, uh, signed number is allowed or not so if uh, a positive number is called signed number if uh, you include the positive as well as negative number then that is uh, that is called signed number right so you can check from this and column display size uh, this will basically return to the normal maximum size in the characters so there are many more methods available get column name already we have used uh, in demo uh, you can even find the a schema name as well as well you pass the column index this will tell you the a schema name you can find the precision value as well right so now you can find if you want to find the scale value that you can find you can even find the get table name you can pass the index uh, column index and you can pass the table from which table this column belongs if you have a join query then 
uh, you might uh, select it uh, I mean column from the different table and if you want to check whether particular column belongs to the which which table then that you can check uh, you can even get the catalog name uh, by passing the column index you can find the column type as well column type name that we have already seen in the demo uh, if any column is uh, read only or uh, is read only this will uh, returns you true if your column is uh, only read only you cannot perform any write operation similarly is writable if you uh, want to check whether that is writable or not you can write some value on the particular column or not right so there are many, many methods you can check you can explore yes, yourself there are plenty of methods available in the result set metadata so i hope you enjoyed learning this video uh, this code i'm going to uh, put on the github and github location i will uh, specify in the video description if you like this video then please please subscribe my youtube channel uh, that uh, encourage me to upload more and more uh, videos on the youtube so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial